Testers at Edwards are taking Leonardo da Vinci's 1495 parachute concept a step further for Air Force pararescuemen one test at a time. As part of an Air Force initiative to replace the 1960s era parachute system, the 418th Flight Test Squadron is spearheading the test and evaluation of the new Guardian Angel Advanced Parachute System known as GAPS. It's a threefold parachute system. You have a free fall parachute system, a static line, and a tandem parachute, and it's all combined into one parachute system that has a common harness, and uh, it's uh, designed specifically for Guardian Angel personnel to be able to use uh, uh, and interchange which parachute to use uh, depending on what the mission dictates. And uh, the current systems that we have, uh, are, are the descent rate is too fast at high altitudes. Um, and that's, that's basically because they were designed in the 60s and now we're in Afghanistan. And so, you know, we had these systems that were designed for people in 1960 landing at sea level and that worked great then, but we need something for the modern warfighter, somebody who has to land in austere mountain conditions. With the team going into its third year of testing, the new parachute system had to undergo a variety of usability and durability tests. Yeah, primarily on the, on the phases for the gap, we start out with uh, some ground tests um, where we'll actually put the, our test jumpers in the harness and see how it feels, um, whether it cuts off circulation to their legs, preliminary, can they get to the proper handles and do what they need to do. We did some wind tunnel tests out at the wind tunnel out at Eloy, Arizona, where we put the, the parachute on them and then the various uh, with the rucksacks and equipment and have them fly in the wind tunnel as if they're free falling and see if they can get to the you know, throw out pilot chute or the ripcord handle and the cutaway handles to ensure that when they actually do jump that it hasn't moved around and they can get to all the handles and do their do what they need to do before we do live jumps. Um, and then after that, we go into uh, dummy drops, where we're using a twin otter primarily for uh, most of the dummy drops. And then we'll move into high speed dummy drops um, to check the structural strength of the canopy. And then when we finish that up, we'll go to a live jump review board and make sure that. Uh, all the data that we have and all the results that we have is good enough that says that we are ready to go to live jump and actually at this point put a person in it to jump out of the aircraft. GAPS testing is scheduled to wrap up near the end of February. Jet Fibera, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.